Desmond, great to be here with you. Um, one, one question to start, why basketball? So growing up, um, you know, there was a love for sports in general. Um, you know, I was raised by my great grandparents, um, you know, a little unorthodox. Um, they have been through everything, you know, raised kids of their own, raised cousins, uh, nieces, nephews who all played sports and were around the game. So um, from my littlest age, I picked up a ball, whether it was a basketball, baseball, football, and I played sports, um, all three of them up until my high school career. And, um, there was just something about basketball. I think the competitive nature, um, the imperfectness of the game, you know, almost 90% of the greatest players to ever play miss more shots than, um, you know, they made. But that hunger to continue to get better and progressively get better, um, you know, throughout my career, um, you know, is I think what ultimately led me to basketball. So when was it, when was that uh, switch flipping moment for you where you knew this is your sport, you, you feel it, you got it, you're gonna, you're gonna make that investment, you're gonna put that time in, you're gonna dream, you're gonna get there? Yeah, I think it was my, my ninth grade year. Um, you know, up to that point I played football and baseball as well. Um, unfortunately, my high school didn't have a football team and uh, I've been playing travel baseball all my life and I just needed something a little more competitive. Um, you know, a little more more pace. And that summer I got a chance to play AAU basketball for the first time. And, you know, once I was able to see the talent and, um, you know, all the kids come together to one central location and um, it gave me a whole different perspective on the game. Um, you know, I saw guys dunking for the first time. I saw guys taking deep threes and, um, you know, just wanting to be able to do that for myself. Um, gave me a hunger and a drive. Uh, you know, that I couldn't replace and I couldn't find elsewhere. So um, basketball ended up being, you know, the best thing that ever happened to me. Did you have a mentor or somebody in particular that gave you, you know, just the encouragement, maybe the direction, maybe that extra boost that you needed at a certain time? Well, growing up, I mean, my grandparents were so influential and just putting my best foot forward every day. You know, my, my grandma and grandpa were both retired, um, you know, when they raised me, but, um, you know, you never would have known. You know, my grandma was always working on something. My grandpa, um, the same way, whether it's yard work or things around the house, always working on something. So I think that um, hard work mentality kind of came from them. And then once I got to college, um, a guy by the name of Ryan Miller, um, Mike Miller, played in the NBA for 16 years. His younger brother, um, you know, was an assistant coach at TCU and gave me a lot of direction on some of the things that I needed to do to get to the next level. And, um, you know, the rest is history. That's great. Um, how did you, I mean, obviously for you to be in the top, top percent um, that you've been able to achieve, how did you track, measure, develop, you know, um, during your journey mm -hmm. to, to set your goals and excel the way that you've excelled. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it all started with first, the amount of time that I put into it. Um, you know, stack, trying to stack habits, good habits on top of each other. Um, you know, after school every day, I'll go to the YMCA um, until 5.30 in the afternoon. From 3.30 to 5.30, that's time for me to play basketball. And there were various drills that I would do, um, you know, starting in the mid range, see how many I could make out of 10. Um, and then moving on to the three-point line, those were a few drills, um, you know, layups around the rim and things like that. But ultimately, it goes back to building habits, you know, day after day, just being consistent with, with what I do and, um, you know, how I approach the game. You know, you never know how, how much better you're getting if you just continue focusing on the little things day by day. Um, you know, that's why I'm so excited to be here and partner with Biology. That's great. Appreciate that. Um, did one of the things that we're going to be doing uh, besides our, our 40 shot BSA today is um, is we're doing a last second kind of dream shot that you lived growing up. Do you, and you'll have a chance to do one today. What was your before you went in at night and your grandparents were calling mm -hmm. you in for dinner? What was that last shot that you know whether it, it was Jordan or a, a bird or you know Elijah on what, what was that shot for you uh, where you had the imaginary crowd? you know, yelling and, and five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, for me, it, it wasn't necessarily a five, four, three, two, one, but I grew up a big Allen Iverson fan. And All right. the, the crossover that he had against Tyron Lue, uh, made the shot and then stepped over him while he's walking <laughs> back. Um, 
you know, it's kind of that swagger and confidence that you have growing up in Richmond, Indiana and playing basketball um, and being a competitor, you know, that embodied um, everything that I want to want to be, you know, um, carry that chip on your shoulder forever. Well, we're, we're so excited to have you as a partner and to help virtualize some of these things that you've just discussed to make it uh, just give every every young player a better way and every coach uh, a better way to coach with our technology. My last question, and maybe the most important one of the day, is why why is it, do you think, that TCU has produced such awesome people? <laughs> we're both on the well, frogs. Well, I mean, you know, you got two of us sitting here, um, two very awesome people, I, w I would say. Um, you know, go frogs, of course. Um, happy to share an alumni, uh, you know, fan base with, with, with my man right here. Um, yeah, go Frogs, man. Go Frogs. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah.